In today's tough business environment, you need more than just a great idea. You need a game plan. With celebrity business experts, Kevin Harrington, widely known as the king of the infomercial. Hosted by Amy Osher. With entrepreneur guest, Walker Peak of Residential Acoustics. Hello and welcome to Game Plan, where the pros show entrepreneurs how to take their business to the next level with a step-by-step -step game plan. And no one better to help than this guy. He is the original shark from Shark Tank. Welcome, Kevin Harrington. Amy, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. I'm excited to, to see we got a couple of entrepreneurs coming today, and, and uh, thanks for having me. Now, I bet everybody remembers you from Shark Tank. Do you hear that a lot, and what are you up to lately? Well, so after a, a number of seasons on Shark Tank with tens of millions of people watching that show. Some days I felt like all of them were trying to get a hold of me at one time, right? So, uh, actually, no, I, um, I'm actually touring the country now, uh, like we're doing today, visiting and meeting with entrepreneurs face-to-face, one-on-one, because people are looking for a shark in their local market, mm -hmm. they're looking for help to take their idea to the next step, and I know uh, there's so many people that could use a little bit of help, a little bit of mentoring, and um, so that's really what I'm doing, spending a lot of time helping entrepreneurs develop their ideas and businesses. Well, I think you're really going to appreciate our first guest is Walker Peak. He's the CEO and owner of Residential Acoustics, and he has a, a great backstory. Regular guy, he saw a problem, created a solution, put in about $3,000 of startup money, and wow. established a business. Great and concept. he's here today to get some advice from you. Come on, Walker. Thanks for having me today, Kevin. Walker, great to meet you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Have a seat. Thank you. Now, we'd like to start off, jump right in, and have you give us your elevator pitch. Tell us a little bit about, he's going to be talking about noise blocking curtains. So tell wow. us about them. Sure. So uh, the idea started just two years ago. Uh, we were looking for a way to block sound coming in through doors and windows. Uh, we found a proprietary material that we sandwiched between two layers of fabric, and we allow customers to customize this by size and fabrics, uh, fabric types. Um, we offer 20 fabrics that we keep in stock. Uh, now this will block 80 to 90 percent of sound coming in through your windows and doors. Um, it'll also block 90 percent of heat transfer and 100 percent of light. So Great a lot added of our customers, benefits. Wow. right? And uh, we have quite a few customers saying that they get their money back within three months due to a lower AC bill or lower lower heating bill. Very substantial piece of material. So this would block a whole door, a whole window. Right. Block the light, block the sound. Um, so the first question that comes to my mind, um, you talk about 80 to 90 percent blockage of light or, or noise. Have you done any kind of studies that would verify or certify those kind of statistics? We have. So we've had this um, tested at Oak Ridge Labs in Tennessee, um, and that's the interior sound blocking core. Uh, it's the STC is 29, which means it blocks about 30 decibels over a large frequency range. Um, and one thing our customers appreciate about it is it has a large amount of sound blocking, not as much as a double pane window, but it comes at about one tenth the cost. And we also have additional product lines that allow us to glide back and forth in front oh, of the wow. window, which makes it much more user friendly. So this is customizable for, you can order it custom to your window or do, do you have regular uh, kind of sizes kind of thing in stock? We do. Yeah. We found that there's about four sizes that were most common. Uh, we sold those through Amazon for some time and now we also sell them through our website. And um, yeah, traditionally, a lot of our um, curtains are still custom made, but we do do some standard size. I grew up in Ohio, very cold in the winter, and the, the windows leaked pretty bad. It was, I mean, you could actually get a chill coming sure. in the, in the wintertime, so this will actually, it'll, it'll protect and, and keep the cold uh, from getting inside. Exactly. Right? Being in Florida probably keeps your, your cold inside, too, when you want it to. It's, it's a great extra benefit that you get some kind right. of environmental right. aspect to Sounds it as like well. Sounds like it's the kind of product that actually would pay for itself if, you, if it's going to keep the cold or the heat in right. or out. It's going to it's going to reduce your your cooling bills, your heating bills. Uh, also give you a better night's sleep. A lot of a lot of people um, I know um, when sometimes you stay in a hotel mm -hmm. and you just can't get the, the you know the drapes closed the right way and no matter what the, and or they're thin and some of them don't even go all the way closed. Sure, you know, they just they, they're they're fake uh, mm -hmm. drapes, you know, and and that drives me crazy. Sometimes, yeah, you know? one of our leading value propositions is that. 
Um, you can hang this up if you're a tenant in an apartment. You don't usually have an option for a double pane window, but you're locked into a lease. Maybe first and last month's rent is your down payment. And you don't want to invest in, in anything really construction wise anyway. Right, exactly. Right. And you can't take it with you. And even if you did, you'd still need to put a curtain over it to look good. So we try to knock out all those at the same time and say, hey, choose your own curtain, put it over your window, keep out the heat and the noise. Usually it's traffic noise, but a lot of time it's loud neighbors. Sometimes it's a spouse who's on a different sleep schedule, so you put it over your door. Right. And so far, we've had fantastic customer reviews over the last 18 months since we've really brought this product to market. My first thought when, when you mentioned this was uh, logically the urban solution with a lot of city noise. But even where I live, I said there's always the guy that's up in the morning mowing the lawn, and right. I confession, it's my husband. And I would love <laughs> to block out that noise. So it sounds like really this could be relevant for any setting. Yeah, a lot of our sales come from New York, Chicago, LA, those large metro urban areas. We get some in small town Pennsylvania as well, just a one busy through street. And recently we started exporting to Beijing, Singapore, all over the Far East, and wow. also just the other day, seven curtains from Ethiopia. Oh, wow. So really anywhere in the world where people have a need to block sound, which is indiscriminate of location. So Walker, you're doing, uh, to, to be able to go all over the world like this, you must be doing some really cool internet uh, targeting and internet marketing. We use primarily SEO right now. Okay. So uh, when people Google soundproofing curtains, they'll typically find us first. Our firm is Residential Acoustics, so we, we allow people to customize and all those other features that we bring into play at a much lower price point. And we also have um, our non-provisional patent, which is pending right now, and two additional provisional patents for our new product lines that are coming out. And in, 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 in the world of windows out in, in homes, what percentage of windows are, are standardized? Because uh, you have some standardized sizes, We right? do, and unfortunately, that's a tough question. If you go to Lowe's and look for standard size windows, you'll find 12 different widths and a number of heights for each okay. of those. Um, unlike and that's doors, when you customize yours, so someone that can give you the exact measurements they need, you send it to them, right? Exactly, because okay. with doors, the ADA mandates a 36-inch opening, okay. typically for wheelchairs or mm -hmm. exit routes. Uh, for windows, it's all about design. The architect has a mind of their own, and typically speaking, you won't see a standard window size. Right. So it's affordable, it's customizable, it's going to save you money, it's going to basically pay for itself. Right? It will. Yeah. I'm going to chime in here with a women's perspective quickly, though. You want it to be aesthetic. It's, it's going to be part of your house. You're going to hang it on your windows. What do you do and offer in those lines? And I know you mentioned you're, you're creating a new system that you might incorporate it with drapes. Right. And actually, that product is on the market right now through our website. So this is our um, initial minimum viable product, if you will, although we've made some improvements over time, where this will roll up and roll down over a noisy window in a major city. Sometimes people just want that low-cost solution to their problem. Now we also have the Acousta Track, which will actually draw left and right over a track over the window. We'll put a shear behind it and also a decorative curtain. We can make this out of any fabric the customer would like so they can send in custom premium fabrics. We have a number of fabrics in stock as well. Or sometimes they just want to have their own curtain done and just put it in front and don't show the functional curtain. And how do you think Kevin can help you? Well, we've got a lot of ideas on that front. Okay. Um, primarily, we're looking for a partnership with somebody who can really take this to the next level, bring our product to the larger market. Uh, right now, we have a beautiful website, um, and we have a nice conversion rate on that, but we only have so many people actually visiting the site. Right. You have videos uh, that you've created yet? We do have videos that will show um, actually opening and closing the curtain, how much it blocks, how easy it is to operate. Um, and we also have some really nice pic pictures that we just finished editing as well. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that, that um, and, and, and we obviously will have some time to talk after also, but uh, creating some before and after, you know, I would say magical transformations mm -hmm. um, of noise coming in, people waking up, you know, and now after. Because when I, I mean, this is a very substantial piece of, it is. of product. It's, it almost reminds me of a, a bulletproof vest. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know if you've done any kind of demos to show how powerful this could withstand possibly uh, some kind of a bullet coming at it or something like that. We've looked at Very ballistic powerful. patents as well. I was wondering about that as well. Yeah. Uh, minus yeah. the liability issue, yeah. which is yeah. what concerns us most. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. yeah I just didn't want to make that claim and <laughs> yeah. have someone call you up on that. But the, you know, Very I nice. think, um, Obviously, the internet side of what you're doing is, is, is very good, but video can be very, very powerful in, in creating um, hard-hitting, you know, short ones and then maybe a couple longer ones also. But, sure. um, you know, the, the, the transformation side of this, is you have some good, good testimonials, I'm assuming. We do. And that's, have you filmed those also? 
we have not filmed the testimonials, but some of the people who, it's really a quality of life question for a right. lot of people. If you can't mm -hmm. sleep, or if you have a home office and have a hard time concentrating due to your husband mowing the lawn or whatever it is, <laughs> it sounds like you're right there in the yard. Right. So, so a lot of people, it's not it's not something that they're they want to skimp on. They they're willing to spend the money to really um, you know invest in something that's going to make their quality of life better. Yeah. There's a I'm involved with it with another project. It's in the heating and air conditioning world where we are showing savings and we went to a testing lab and and, and showed that this product would save 22 percent on the uh, the cost to, to cool a house during the summertime. Sure. So um, you probably could even find some kind of study that you could create for for this product because it's going to keep that cold air in. And like I said, and when I grew up it, as, a, as a child, those windows, you could never crank them to get them all the way closed. The cold air was just rushing into those old windows. We right. So, um, you know, in the, in, the, in the heating arena, it's probably going to, you know, be a, a big savings in the wintertime in a lot of homes, too. And if you rent, you really don't have any other option unless you have a very generous landlord, which I've yet to meet, <laughs> who is willing to put in new windows for you. Right. This really is a lot of people's only option for a better quality of life. Take it with you, move it on to your next place. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that's great. You mentioned global market though too, and I thought it was really interesting the applications that you saw potential for in, in overseas. How would you address that market? Well, that's one thing where we've started our export um, business and initially we were 100% domestic. Now it's closer to 90-10 or maybe 85-15. Um, a lot of the windows in India and China, um, they're not their typical silicate glass like we have here in the States. It's more of a shutter system that you can kind of open and close and it allows a lot more sound to leak through there. Yeah. Also, they're much more densely populated even, even than some of our most densely populated right. cities. Sure. Um, so there's a large need for it there. One thing we'd like to see is if we find the right standard size windows in those markets, um, it'd be great to find a licensing company to partner with to really bring down the cost of manufacturing because although we're able to export some here, the cost of manufacturing here is difficult to export to those markets. Yeah, so I mean, like for example, in India, uh, the best thing there would be to find a local partner that because importing into India is so costly, the sure. duties and the taxes, they'll charge you, uh, you know, sometimes triple the cost of the product just to bring the product in. But this could be easily manufactured inside India right. and then sold all across the market. And, and we were set on keeping our manufacturing operation for custom curtains here in the States, um, but for for uh, standard sizes or custom sizes in that target market, we'd be very interested in opening up a manufacturing operation there. And also, as you mentioned, it is a substantial product, so the shipping costs do add up fairly quickly. Right. And one thing we really didn't t discuss too much though is how many colors and sizes do you currently have? So you are able to customize it by the inch in width and height. Our, we have four standard sizes and we have 12 stocked colors. Um, and then we also have a number of premium fabrics that uh, we will ship any of these products in five to seven business days once they're ordered. But if you want a premium fabric, that's an extra five days because we go out and purchase that fabric and make your custom curtain out of that fabric. And are you are you attending uh, trade shows yet uh, to get the, the word out to the masses? In, in we are. We are. We're going to a home and garden show here in Tampa in about a month and a half. And uh, we're always looking for additional opportunities. So the, the, the houseware show in Chicago? Uh, it's every year in March uh, at the McCormick Center. It's a big, big show that about 100,000 people come from more than 100 countries. Um, that uh, would be a good one to, to gear up for next year. Okay. Um, and um, you know, again, I can give you some, some thoughts on that. But there's, there's probably, you know, the Home and Garden Show is, is a local show. It's, it's you know, um, a, a consumer show. Mm -hmm. The trade shows where you're, where you're looking for wholesale distribution right. with licensing opportunities, that gives you a chance to, to reach the masses on, on a global basis uh, and also partnering with various uh, retailers uh, as well as international distributors. Sure. You feel one of your biggest selling points, though, is the price. What are what is your starting, your entry level to get in this? Well, this is actually smaller than I believe any curtain we've made to date. <laughs> uh, this is just a sample for us. But a standard size window is going to start at 100 to 120, and a sliding glass door will be about 200 to 250, depending on how large it is. Yeah. And somebody would want an acoustic track for something like that to draw it left and right. You don't you don't want to roll up a very large curtain by hand. Okay. And again, that's about 10% you said of double pane windows? Um, typically, that's the price point you're looking at after you have to uninstall and reinstall the window. Um, you need a contractor to come in. Very few people want to take on a project that, of that complexity by themselves. Right. 
You know, I think somebody, they don't have to necessarily do their whole home. That You know, you start in you know, possibly is the bedroom the right. first place that people start. What other parts of the house do you go to after the bedroom? What well, there's the home office, which is very common for us as well. Uh, to a lot of people be on the telecom, if there's construction next door, even a block away, it sounds like you're on the site sometimes. Very right. good And point. we also see a lot of young parents with um, young children finally get them to sleep and you're tiptoeing around the apartment. You don't even want to do the dishes, even though it's the only opportunity uh, you have. I can attest to so, that. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, you, you put it up over the door. That would be the, our Acousta door product, which is very similar, just slightly different dimensions and ways it attaches to the door. And uh, that allows you to make sure that your child's getting their rest while you can still enjoy your, your that's free time. An, that's a fabulous mm -hmm. idea. So it's called Acousta door. Right. It just goes right over the baby's door mm -hmm. so that the, baby, the baby's gonna, not going to be uh, awakened from minor little things that are happening, you know, uh, running the vacuum cleaner right. or something like that, right? Exactly. Like standard things that a, a homemaker would be doing, but uh, these are going to impact the, the baby's sleep cycle, right? right? And, and that was actually our initial um, product development was my wife upstairs studying for her residency program and I was watching TV downstairs with my friend and she kept telling us to turn it down and it was all the way down. I couldn't even hear what the I guy think was that's saying. that's played out all over America, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> well, we've got, given you a lot of great suggestions. I hope we left you with the proper steps to build yourself a game plan. Excellent. Thanks Thank so much for your time. Thank you very much for joining us, Walker. Walker, yeah. great to meet you. You too. Great, great idea. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you for Thank being you. here. Take care. What great advice. Isn't that a great product? You realize how relevant it is. Once you start talking about it, who couldn't use that product? You know what I love? Um, here's Walker. What a, what a great uh, entrepreneur. He uh, mm -hmm. takes $3,000. Uh, it, it started with a need in his own home. Uh, starts making some, some of his own homemade product. And now this is really a cool business. Um, and I think, um, he, as he said, he's, he's buying the keywords on the Internet, mm -hmm. right, and getting a lot of activity because there's not a lot of competition. So now's the time, though, he's got to hit it hard because um, once other people see success, then they come in and, you know, now you can create your own competition. So, um, but I think, um, as we discussed, you know, hitting, going on a global basis is something because he's already doing some international activities. Mm -hmm. uh, to take this around the world could be, uh, could be very exciting in forming partnerships in key strategic markets. So, um, great, uh, it was great to meet Walker. And yeah. Meet. Well, great guy and wonderful advice. Thank you for being here, Kevin. I think you gave him some really good insights to bump his business up to the next level. Pleasure to be here. Thank, Thank you, you, Kevin. Now, we've given Walker a real game plan to keep his business moving. Thanks for being with us.